Morning, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, train lines through Warwick Mobile reopen after a derailment. Two teenage girls escaped a burning house in Mount Wallace this morning that had no functioning smoke alarms. The friends were asleep when the fire broke out. Both were treated for smoke inhalation and one taken to hospital by ambulance. The cause of the fire is being investigated. Two girls aged 16 and 15 were asleep when the fire broke out. One of the girls was awakened by the smoke, walked down the passage road to see what was happening. The blaze started in a back room just before 11.30 this morning. Opened the door to the lounge room, saw the smoke and fire. She did have the presence of mind to grab her mobile. The weatherboard home was soon engulfed in flames. It had the wind coming from that corner, so that's why it got going fairly quickly. After fleeing and calling triple zero, there was little the girls could do. The property's rural location and strong winds hampered firefighting efforts. Unable to get water access, we had to get another couple of trucks to pump water from a dam at, um, 500 metres away. It took more than two hours for seven crews to bring the blaze under control. There's still some wall standing, but... It's of no use to anyone. The whole house will have to be pulled down. There were no smoke alarms fitted in the house. And it's extremely lucky the two girls escaped. The owner's pets were also able to be saved. As for the contents of the home, there's nothing left. Both girls were treated at the scene before being taken to hospital. Just minor smoke inhalation, but it's an indication that things can turn deadly quickly. Natalie Schenken, Win News. The city of Ballarat will remove the Begonia Princess paddle steamer from Lake Wendaree tomorrow.